All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace a door switch on a 1995 GMC Suburban, otherwise known as the GMT 400 platform or CK 1500, most likely 95 through 99 Chevy and GMC full-size trucks. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Jimmy with One Road. I recently replaced the front door speakers of my 1995 GMC Suburban, and in doing so, I took apart the dash and also pulled out the switch. Now, I've done this in the past with other GMT 400 trucks, and every time I touch this switch, it breaks. So, whether you have a switch that is failing on its own, or a switch that you've broken off just due to trying to get it out of this hole, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. In this case, you can see I have some duct tape and a piece a line here to be able to pull it back out easily but as you can see here this is the switch and it just fell apart completely came apart and broke all together not such a big deal though as these switches aren't very expensive and I did go ahead and get the OEM part from AC Delco which you can see here the only difference between this new part and the old part is the pin on the end is a little bit longer on the new part I don't think that's gonna matter but even if it does we can just clip off the end just a little bit so let's Let's go ahead and get this thing installed. All right, so the first thing we want to do is just rip open this bag and look at the part itself. Make sure that everything makes sense compared with the old part, which it does. Looks like the exact same part, the exact same size in every way, in every dimension. Same clips. I can see the little spring inside, the spring-loaded mechanism. This pin does push down completely flat, so that's good. The only difference is the actual length of that pin. You can see it is quite a bit longer on the new one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this thing out all right we have our tape removed and if you look closely here you can see that it is a simple plug and play type of install not very difficult at all the only difficulty is getting this thing to stay out in order to be able to have enough slack to plug the thing in so what I found is by using a pair of 90 degree needle nose pliers I'm able to take off this door for the fuse block slide my 90 degree pliers up behind the wiring you can see my pliers there I'm holding onto the wiring from behind the actual socket and now I can begin to simply push on this new switch, which I just heard the click. And just to make sure that this pin works before we fully seat it, we're going to press it in and notice the lighting turns off every time I press it in and back on every time it's out. That is exactly what's supposed to happen. So now we can go ahead and seat this in and all we're gonna do is slowly press it in and there we go. I will reinstall the fuse block door. Now we have a working pin, albeit a little long, but I think it'll work just fine. Let's go ahead and close the door and find out. And everything is off as it should be. And everything comes right back on as it should. And the pin is not broken and everything seems to be in one piece. Let's try it one more time. All right guys, well, if you've had an issue with your lights coming on when you open your door, this is probably the culprit, and that is how you fix it. Well guys, that was a simple fix, a very easy switch to replace. I hope this video helped you. If it did, hit that thumbs up. Also subscribe and check the description below where I'll put a link to the AC Delco switch that I used and also a link to those 90 degree pliers because those things do come in handy. Well guys, I'm Jimmy with One Road. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.